So I got this Naraku big bore kit for it. It's the 100.52 cylinder kit Naraku V2. I guess that's two valves, 90 cc's. That's actually true because that's 89.3 cc's. So uh, 90 cc's, that's a, that's a good thing to call it. For GY6 Kimco 52 valve, made in Taiwan. That's kind of, I guess, better than China, kind of like the uh, Toyota stuff. I really had a hard time deciding between this and the Toyota 88cc. Toyota makes a 52 millimeter and this is a 52.4 millimeter. So 89.3 cc's. I think the Toyota is 88 cc's. Uh, they would probably perform exactly the same. There's not enough cc's to make a difference. And I know the Toyota is really good stuff. I put a Toyota on this uh, black one. I love the Toyota big bore kit. So it was a tough call on which one to get. They're both expensive. I think this is the most expensive one. The Toyota would have come in a little bit cheaper. This Naraku entire kit is like 250 to 260 somewhere in there by the time you get it. Um, the Toyota, I think you're around 230. So it might have been a little bit cheaper, but it seems to be out of stock everywhere also. It's probably pretty popular. Here you can see the difference. It's quite a difference in size right there. Here's your old stock head. You can see they've done away with the pair valve. Here's the old pair valve. This one doesn't have a pair valve. Now this is the big valve head that Naraku makes. This is the one I ported and put the NCY springs in and this is the stock one. 17.8 My ported one is almost 20 and the Naraku one is 20 so I shouldn't need to port this one. It's already big. The stock ones were 2.4 the NCY ones 2.73 the Naraku ones, 2.87. So don't make the mistake of moving your fancy springs over to your new head. These valves are a lot bigger on the big bore kit. Because the valves are bigger, we have to have bigger valve springs. Don't use your NCY springs, it'll be a waste. On your stock head, your intake valve is about 19. Exhaust valve, 16.5, 16 with 17. So we'll call it 19 and 17. Intake is 23 and the exhaust 20. So another number you'll see on this head is a 2023 or a 2320 head. You remember the exhaust is your smaller one. Intake is bigger. Stock exhaust, we've got 16 millimeters, almost 17. And on the performance one, 18 and a half exhaust port. So quite a bit bigger on the intake port and exhaust port. I'm going to make a video on how to install this big bore kit on your 50cc Mad Dog. So I'll put that install video link in the description. You can watch that if you don't know how to do it. So the last time I rode this I had the uh, skinny tire on it. I set my 45 mile an hour speed record, which I was all excited about. But I'm not going to keep that skinny tire on it. So I put the big fat tire back on. That's the whole reason you buy a Mad Dog. Cool looks. And a big fat tire stretched. My speed record with the uh, fat tire was 43 miles an hour. I don't see the big board kit giving me a ton of top speed because I was already at max RPM. Yeah, it definitely feels quicker. I think it's louder too. I was already hitting 9,000 RPM with the big tire on it. I had to hit like 11 grand to get 45 miles an hour with the skinny tire. I don't think I'd be taking this big bore kit much above nine grand. So I'll probably still be around 43 or so miles an hour. It'll be interesting to see. Unless it has the power to gear it higher and I wasn't gearing it all the way up on the variator. But I think it'll be quite a bit quicker. That's what I want to find out. So I have not changed the uh, variator, the roller weights. The carb's still the same. I've made no adjustments. This is just the big bore kit. We're going to pin it and see if it blows up. I guess I should do a drag race takeoff here. It definitely takes off faster. I'm already at 41 miles an hour. 9,800 RPM, brand new top end. So much for the break-in. Ha! Ah, 10,000 RPM right there. 46 miles an hour. 10,100 RPM. What a difference. Holy cow. I'm going to back off this thing. 
Yeah, so that thing made RPM like crazy, 10,000 RPM, and it would have kept on going, 46 miles an hour. I backed off of it. I don't know what I should be running on this thing, but I didn't feel any valve float. So those bigger springs in this Naraku head must be doing their job. Yeah, pretty impressed with it. Not one change except for the big bore kit. So my plan now is to get this thing geared up. I'll do uh, bigger variators, see if I can gear it up for more top speed. And once we tap out this Nibby 19 carburetor, we'll go to that PWK 21, get even some more fuel burning. But I want to see how far I can take this Nibby 19 first. I feel completely comfortable riding this in traffic on a 45 mile an hour road now. What a difference it made. The last time I had my fastest takeoff and quickness was with the porting. We did the head porting, I got 43 miles an hour top speed and the zero to 30 was 12.7 seconds and the eighth mile was 19. Now we just did this run with the big bore kit. I got 46 miles an hour, but look at that 0 0.30, 6.8 seconds. I knocked that in half. Eighth mile, 15.6. I knocked almost four seconds off that eighth mile. That's crazy. It feels so much quicker now. It feels like a 150. Let me see if I have a 150 on here, bone stock. Here's a bone stock 150. Zero to 30, 6.4, 51 miles an hour, and eighth mile, 14 seconds. Four tenths slower in the zero to 30, and in the eighth mile, it's uh, 1.6 seconds slower than the bone stock 50. This is a lot closer to 150 speeds as it sits than it is to a 50. Even with the 46 miles an hour, Hour. That's only what five miles an hour slower than that bone stock 50 now as I try to make this thing faster on top speed I can only assume I'm gonna lose some of this 0 to 30 and some of this eighth mile But we'll see but it'd be worth it. It's really quick now But it'd be worth it to get this top speed up I think I want to try the bigger variator first because it is just going crazy on the RPMs It gets there really fast. I mean I got to 46 and in about half the distance It took me to get to 43 with a 49 cc it like half my distance I think with that bigger variator it's gonna calm down those RPMs and I'm really gonna get a lot of top speed out of it and hopefully that'll get me up to like 50 then I can start start trying to tune this thing. And what did I say my goal was 55 with the big bore kit and the big fat tire? I think it's going to be achievable. It just felt really powerful. Just the big bore kit, the NCY cam, and that Nibby 19 with no mods to the CVT. I would feel comfortable taking this on a 45 mile an hour road and driving in traffic. This is really nice. Marty of 41 miles an hour. 9,800 RPM. Brand new top end. So much thousand RPM. Right there. 46 miles an hour. 10,100 RPM. What a difference. Holy cow. I'm going to back off this thing.